hello everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for dropping by today it is sunday the 11th of july and i'm on my way to work well i'm actually taking a little detour on my way to work so i can make a couple of videos for you guys right now i'm on chapel street and i'm looking over there to where the tower is and there the king edward apartments from back that are actually staying and are going to be renovated and done up when the new development starts over to the left there is k street but i am heading on down chapel street towards the promenade i'm going to have a little walk down the prom and then head off to work so let's go as always on a sunday morning it is super duper quiet i mean it's really really quiet down here today you can see the old police station there in chapel street car park it's a solitary car coming down the road it's just turned off so it's not even going to come past Oh. One coming up from behind there. There's the steps leading to the court buildings. And glance into the car park as I walk past. I do like grabbing bits of footage of here now and then when I'm out and about because when all this is gone I'll have some nice souvenir footage and as I've said before more than once there's so much concrete in all these structures around here it's going to take a long time to empty and level and prepare this site see the other side of Chapel Street there and right now I'm walking alongside the car park super duper quiet in there up this nice cycle path pretty much desolate inside the car park over on the left there is Crag Street Crag Street is just a little street there that's between the central gift shop and the Stanley Bar and Cabaret Crag Street is a small street that is already on the streets of Blackpool series And the street on the other side of the Stanley is Dale Street, also already on the streets of Blackpool series. And if we turn down here, you can see Bonnie Street again, already on the streets of Blackpool series. And we can see the court buildings, the car park, and the tip of the police station from the Bonnie Street perspective. Up oh, onwards to the promenade. Let's go. Down here is where the Doctor Who exhibition stood in the 70s. In the mid 70s, late 70s, early 80s. Side entrance was down there. And that one is Foxhall Road. And Foxhall Road is also already on the Streets of Blackpool series. A few cars on the prom, a few people about, but really not that many. Oh, 
nice empty promenade that way and also a nice empty promenade that way mostly the only people out and about at this time of the morning are folks clearing up the beach and picking up litter a few dog walkers and a few people who were on the way to work because some of us work Sunday mornings it's probably around half six in the morning now maybe a tad later than that I did want to set up a little bit earlier but as always when I'm at home in the mornings preparing for work time just gets away from me I end up just browsing Twitter and YouTube and then I suddenly glance at my Fitbit and notice the time but for now we've got all this space almost exclusively to ourselves there we go the sand is having a good old rake and tidy look at that there you can see the tower Look there, deck chair higher. It's really cool to see deck chairs on the prom. Very nice the sun looks now. I'm going to get off this lower prom now I just wanted to show you sand and the beach as I walk past but I'm going to get back on to the promenade itself because as pleasant as this is just walking down here this morning I am on my way to work so I am on kind of a little bit of a time scale In fact, I do think I may have enough time just to walk down this bit and we'll get a little bit more beaching on this walk. I think we can walk along down here to the next set of steps. That'll be nice. As you can see how nice this sand looks now it's all been cleaned up and done. The child in me wants to just run all over it and leave footprints everywhere. But if I do that, I'll get sand in my shoes. And as much as I love the beach and the sea and the sand, I do not love sand in my shoes. Especially when it gets between your toes and you wiggle your toes and you can feel that gritty feeling. That's one thing that definitely reminds me of being a kid. in sand between my toes coming home from the beach and the coral island there and next to it the new sands hotel and next to that we've got Weatherspoons, which is housed in the old Woolworths building which is now sports direct and game and obviously the weather spoons on the ground floor and the pound shop at the other end, at the front end
listening to the seagulls. I think once I get up to the top of this little ramp, I will finish this first video. Kind of short and sweet, but I think we've had a good look at the beach this morning. Just take a look down the side of the old Woolworths building and the Sands Hotel building. Down that street leading towards Hounds Hill. And yes, that is a good time to finish this video. The nice view of the tower. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.